Hello and uh, welcome to all the plumbing business owners. Um, you, if you're watching this video and you want to learn how to get more plumbing leads, this is the correct video for you. My name is Tony G and I've come together with the PHCC of Nevada uh, to put together a free webinar to teach plumbing business owners 10 different ways to generate plumbing leads during the coronavirus to make sure that the plumbers stay busy to make sure that you're still running calls and making money, staying profitable, okay? Um, for those of you that don't know me very well, my name is Tony G and I was a plumber for 15 years prior to studying marketing, cracking the code on plumbing lead generation. Um, and I'll get into my story in a little bit. First, I wanna say thank you to PHCC of Nevada because I'm gonna introduce you to Echo. And Echo, can you just mention, um, you know, where you're located, what the PHCC is all about, how you help plumbing business owners and why they should hire a PHCC. Yes, of course. Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, it's great to be on here with you all. I'm very excited to have Tony hosting this for us. He's our newest associate member and the PHCC is a, an association of plumbing and HVAC contractors in Nevada. We're statewide, Southern and Northern. We have over a hundred members and 70% of those being contractors. Um, our biggest focus is education and camaraderie. That is what we strive to provide to our members. Um, we And this training that Tony's providing today is perfect for that. It's educational and the camaraderie you get through Tony and his experience is exactly what you get through all our members here at the PHCC. So Tony, we're very excited and I can't wait to see what you have in store for us. Wonderful, thank you, Echo. I appreciate you taking the time to, um, to make this happen. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen, get right into the meat and potatoes, um, because I'm a plumber and we know, we like to get straight to the meat and potatoes, right? So today I'm gonna teach you guys 10 different ways to get more plumbing leads, okay? This is brought to you by the PHCC and Strictly Plumbers, okay? Um, after this training, you will get uh, this stamp here, okay? The stamp here is uh, the coronavirus proactive training. So the stamp is something you can download, put it on your Facebook, put it on your website. Um, it's really, really good stuff. The 10 things that we're gonna be covering today will be uh, your website, your plumbing website, what you should be doing to your plumbing website if you want more plumbing leads. Uh, number two is the chat bot on the website. Number three is Facebook marketing and how to get more leads with Facebook. Uh, number four is retargeting ads. Some are on Google, some are on social media. I'm gonna show you what's up with that. Number five is one of my favorites, SEO and Google Maps. I wrote a book about that and I'll get into that during that time. Uh, number six is pay-per-click uh, with Google and Bing, okay? Some people hate it, some people love it. I'm gonna show you how it can make the phone ring fast. Um, directory listings and social medias. I'm gonna help you understand what's the difference between the two and how to treat them so you get more calls. Uh, the next one, number eight, is gonna be email marketing. Um, we're gonna talk about a strategy that will make the phone ring within uh, about 48 hours. And then um, traditional mail, number nine. Is traditional mail still alive? What's the right way to do it? Number 10. Um, you know, phone outreach, does that really work? You know, um, should you be doing it for your plumbing company? And what do you mean by phone outreach? How, I'm gonna show you how this can get you more uh, customers. Uh, before we jump right into that, let's go ahead and watch this. For those of you that don't know me very well, uh, my name is Tony G and I'm the owner of this company called Strictly Plumbers. I was an actual plumber myself for 15 years. Uh, back then what I specialized in was service and repair in residential and commercial. I tried some new construction, it wasn't really for me, I stuck to the uh, residential and commercial service and repair. And I did that for 15 years. You know, I worked for uh, Bill Howe Plumbing and uh, ARS Rescue Rooter. Some of you guys may know some of those companies. But uh, for the last two and a half years, uh, I've been able to help plumbing business owners all over the United States. So I am located in San Diego, but I do work with plumbing contractors all over the United States. So, 
Um, again, you guys will be able to download this um, coronavirus proactive training stamp. Anybody that attends this will also get a link to everything that I'm showing you right now. Okay, very important. Uh, by the end of this, if you stick around, I'm gonna give you my book. Okay, it's actually gonna be an ebook. You're gonna learn 10 ways to get more plumbing leads with SEO and Google Maps. I'm also gonna give you guys for free today um, another training video. It's called Facebook Marketing for Plumbers. I'm gonna teach you step by step how to create Facebook ads, what to put in those ads, what pictures to use, what to put in the writing, how much to use in the budget, how to deal with the keywords in the targeting, and I actually build these step by step. I do it live. I build Facebook ads so you can see, and you can see how I do it too. Very powerful stuff. I've been trained by Facebook directly um, in person. I'll get into that in a little bit later. I'm also going to give you guys some pictures that you can use on Facebook or other social medias too, you know, like Instagram and whatnot. You're going to be able to download for free uh, Facebook plumbing pictures. Right, so really cool pictures that you can use on your own social media. Um, one of my favorite things that you'll be getting as well is called uh, sales training for plumbers. So when I was a manager over at Rescue Rooter, ARS, um, that's what my job was. I was a sales training manager and that took about 10 years to finally get to that position, okay? So the last five years of my plumbing career, that's what I did. Um, I'm also going to give you dispatch training for plumbers. This is a very cool training video that comes with script that you can download so I can teach you how uh, a lot of the big million dollar plumbing companies out there in the United States are, are um, handling their dispatch. I'm also going to give you, if you're watching this right now, a free t-shirt. Okay, it's my brand, Strictly Plumbers. You can get one for free. All you gotta do is click on these things. When I share this link with you, you can just click on these pictures and go to every single thing that I'm showing you. And of course, if you need more plumbing leads, we can help you, okay? It's obvious that I can help you, all right? So that's my little mascot. <laughs> um, we do build mascots and logos, so if you need something like that, we can give you some really killer advice or just make it happen for you. So let's get right into the meat potatoes, all right? Um, learn 10 ways to get more plumbing leads during the coronavirus COVID-19. First things first is your website. All right. So a lot of the times people don't believe that the website, it works very well. Well, that's maybe because it's not the right website for you. All right. So today I'm going to show you a really cool example of what a good plumbing website looks like and why it makes the phone ring. Um, this gentleman has allowed me to peel back the curtains on some of this stuff uh, because we've been really well for him. And um, let me show you why. So first things first, you wanna make sure that it's easy for people to contact you, whether they're on the phone or on desktop. Uh, it's gotta be really, really easy for them, okay? Uh, you also wanna have a big menu here uh, with all of your services. And we'll get into these to show you what these pages look like. If you're a 24 hour service, make sure that's at the top so it's easy for them to um, know this. Right, so they're not wondering if you're open or not. Um, COVID-19 update, right? We are available and prepared to serve customers safely during this time. So make sure, uh, like all this stuff shows up on mobile. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, we always write about 500 words minimum. Should be about, you know, between 500 and 1,000 um, words per page. And you also want to have a link building strategy. This has to do with SEO which we'll get into uh, shortly. Make sure that you have all of your social medias and directory listings on your website and make them clickable. So that way when they do click on them, it gets redirected to the appropriate page, right? The menu that you guys saw up top earlier, make sure it's also listed like this on the website itself, making it really easy for plumber, for uh, homeowners to find you, okay? Um, a map is definitely a huge help for so many different reasons, not just uh, for a good visual appeal like to, to the customer and see, so they can see that who you serve, but for SEO purposes, of course, you know, coupons, you know, coupons are not meant to cheapen your prices. Coupons are actually eye candy for homeowners. Let's keep it real. Homeowners like coupons. That doesn't mean you got to bring down your prices or give some cheap stuff. You don't want to become a cheap company, right? Nobody really wants to be that, um, but you want to be affordable 
and um, respectable in the market. So, um, you know, whatever it is that you're charging, just show it in a way of a coupon. Give this eye candy to the homeowners for them to look at. Make sure you guys have reviews on your website to show that you guys have a really good reputation. And a lot of the people get this wrong here in the footer. The footer should have all this information like your hours, um, your pages, uh, your NAP, which is your name, address, and phone number. All your contact information should be down here. Um, locations, you know, if it's not in there, then you know it's it's really going to hurt you on many levels. Uh, one customer can't see it, and two, neither can Google. So what does that mean, right? You want to make sure that if you're going to you know pay some money towards Google, you got to make the phone ring, right? So. I'm gonna get into this real quick and go over to drain cleaning, one of my favorite services. Okay, um, as you can see, we are targeting Los Angeles here. It's not easy, okay? So the reason I'm showing you that is because um, I wanted to show you something that's not easy. I can show you some easy stuff, but that's a hard market, okay? Um, it's a big, very competitive market. So the easy markets, not so populated, not so competitive, easy, easy. This is the hard stuff. So let me show you how we dominate in all the hard stuff, right? This is how you uh, battle giants and win, okay? First things first, get your foot in the door. Doesn't matter if it's 89, 109, or 79. Put a coupon on your drain cleaning page. Put that coupon towards the top. Don't put it at the bottom. And make sure that when uh, the coupon is click to call, all right? So let, let's keep it real. Do you really want a uh, printed coupon so it can get lost in somebody's junk drawer in the kitchen? Or do you prefer somebody clicks on this coupon and your dispatcher gets a phone call, right? You see where I'm going with that, guys. Um, so again, nothing less than 500 words of content per page. And you wanna make sure you're uh, doing your link building strategy in here, okay? So as you can see, we've been doing a really good job at that. This gentleman also likes to do trenchless technologies. For some people they like it, some people they hate it, everybody's different, okay? We give you what you want. Uh, the difference between Strictly Plumbers and other, all your other marketing agencies is we, you know, because I'm a plumber, um, you talk to me like a plumber. Tell me what you need, tell me where you need the calls from and we make it happen for you. Really, really, really simple. For me, because this is what I've mastered, right? This is what I've done. Uh, for example, a homeowner, it may be hard for them to, to troubleshoot a water heater to see why the thermal pilot's not staying lit. But for a plumber, it's easy. It's just what we do, right? Well, marketing for plumbers is what I do. So this has become easy for me now. Um, so let's keep going here. I got some more killer stuff for you guys. Um, the chat bot, okay? Chat bot on the website. It's something important. Some guys don't have it. Some people think it's annoying. Some people love it. It really depends on how you treat it and how, how it treats you. So make sure that you know your content on your chatbot is not generic. Make sure it speaks like if it was a plumber bot. Because that, well, that's what I invented. I've invented what we call the plumber bot. It's basically a chatbot that speaks plumber. Right, so be, remember I'm a salesman for uh, plumbing companies. When I was plumbing, during, you know, actually I was a plumber for about 10 years, then I got into sales, right? Then I got into management. Uh, let's not get it twisted here. So um, with this here, I created the content to become a good salesman, right? You want a good salesman. It's like having a good salesman on your website, greeting every website viewer, right? Everybody that comes on your website, they're checking you out. This thing will greet you and engage with you. And it's like somebody's walking into your business and one of your employees says, hello, welcome to John's Plumbing. You know, um, we're ready for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Do you have an emergency? We're greeting them. And if you don't have that, you know, uh, you could be having a lot of website visitors that go to your website and don't call you. This is a way to capture more leads with the traffic that you're already getting. Uh, very important that you guys have a chat bot, okay? Um, that is something that I do specialize in. And if you guys have any questions about that, I can, I can make that happen for you, okay? Make sure you have a chat bot. Doesn't matter if it's for me or somebody else, whatever. Put one on your website and make and watch yourself wake up to leads. Like when I wake up in the morning, I actually have people that have been doing the research overnight and they 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 opt in. 
I get leads when I wake up. They have, there's people that want me to call them. So if you want the same results, that's what you gotta do. All right, uh, number three, Facebook marketing. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. Uh, the reason is, well, um, my business will be three years old in October. We made our first million dollars by about a year and a half, right around that time. And um, the reason we're able to make and be profitable and, and, and do that so fast is Facebook marketing. So um, I've been trained by Facebook in person uh, before this uh, coronavirus pandemic, how to get leads. So I know how to do this for plumbers. Uh, just like this gentleman right here, he's talking about promises made, promises kept. You know, and um, he, he's been with us for under one year now. And long story short, he's growing out of the pickup now, a three service truck and growing. All right, he's, he's um, there's a reason why he's shouting that out on, on Facebook and because it, it's a big deal, we're changing his life. So let me tell you why Facebook is a big deal for your plumbing company and what you should be doing with your Facebook right now. Okay, so take some notes on this. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna verbalize to you guys what you should be doing. So, first things first, make sure you're constantly posting on your timeline. Don't think that's gonna make the phone blow up. That's where the ads come in, Facebook ads. And I'm talking about more than just boosting posts, okay? So check this out. <clears throat> you gotta think like a marketer a little bit, right? So what you need is the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, and the bottom of the funnel. Write that down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what that means. So at the top of the funnel, uh, picture like a big fat funnel, and you're just, we're putting people in there, and at the bottom, they become customers. How do we do that? That's a marketing funnel. So at the top of the funnel, we, what we do is build for you a brand awareness campaign. This is where we get all the homeowners in your area to like your Facebook page, so that way every day when you post, um, they're the ones to see it. Doesn't matter if you get, you know, Facebook likes from a different country or, uh, you know, because they're maybe a penny. Don't do that to your page. Don't let anybody do that to your page. Make sure that the only people that follow you are in your market, right? In your city and make sure they're the right age. Like who is the homeowner that's really going to hire you, right? It's, it's not the 17 year old. It's not the 18 year olds. You know what I'm talking about? Target. The, the moms, the dads, the business owners of your community, because those are the guys that are going to hire you, the homeowners, the business owners, you know what I'm talking about? So make sure that your targeting on your Facebook ads is, is on point. Don't target the whole state. If you're not a statewide company, target the city. That's the easy stuff, okay? Um, the top of the funnel is a brand awareness ad that should be getting you likes every single day so that your market is actually aware of your brand now and they see you on a regular basis. We normally do this for clients and it normally costs about 50 cents to a dollar max. Um, on average is like 65 cents to 75 cents to get somebody, like a homeowner in your area to like your Facebook page and follow it. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but check this out. If you send out traditional mail, and it costs you like one to $2 or whatever you're paying, that piece of mail is gone as soon as it's gone. A Facebook like or a follow is like the evolving business card. It's actually on their phone and it keeps evolving and it never leaves. And every time they open their phone, you can pop up. That's way better than a piece of mail that will get tossed around, hopefully not in the trash. If you agree with this, you know, let me know in the comments. So, Let's go right back to the middle, the, the funnel, right? The middle of the funnel is going to be your lead magnets. So these type of ads, it should be you educating your market on plumbing. Because when you educate, okay, what happens there is um, they reciprocate. They will come and ask you questions. It's really interesting. Let me give you a good example. Go Facebook Live, teach how to flush a water heater live. Teach them how to, how to flush a water heater. How to extend the life of that water heater by flushing it. Teach them a little bit. And then at the end, have a call to action. You know, tell them, hey, if you don't want to do this by yourself, let me do it for you. I have a coupon on the website. Save some money. 
make it easy for them. Make sure you have a call to action, okay? You can do it by um, teaching them like how to re reset a garbage disposal. That's another good lead magnet. How to remove the pop-up assembly in the bathroom and remove the women's long hair or long hair, men or women, remove long hair from the pop-up assembly, put it back together without it leaking. If you do a little tutorial, a video on how to do that and just throw that Facebook ads and you start to educate and you target the right people in your community, they will come, I promise you, okay? Uh, now let's talk about the bottom of the funnel, okay? The bottom of the funnel is where you're just straight up pitching your services, you know? So, hey, we offer drain cleaning for $89. There's a coupon on my website if you need it, get it now. Um, water heater, whatever, it's, it's not educational anymore. It's just straight up pitching the business. Okay, it's super important that you have the top, the middle, and the bottom of the funnel because it's also part of brand awareness. You know, the more they see you, the more they're used to you, before you know it, um, they think you're a really big company because they see you all over Facebook and they'll call you or recommend you whenever they need to. All right, so um, in this training, at the, at the end is um, son done explaining these things. Uh, remember I told you I was gonna give you a Facebook training video for plumbers and I would build ads and pick them apart and actually build them live. Well, that comes in the next training video after this one. You can have that for free. Just stick till the end of this training video right now, okay? Um, if you have to go for some reason, you need to come back, that's okay. Um, we will send you the replay. Maybe you're watching the replay right now. Feel free to pause it and come back to this stuff, okay guys? So remember that Facebook marketing for some of you, it's works. For some of you, it hasn't. It's all about how you do it. And there's so much more strategies too. That's not like that's the only one. I just, I'm limited on time. I'm, got, I'm here to educate and show you guys what you should be doing. I'm also offering you another training video of how you can be doing that. Instead of saying what, I'll teach you how. Big difference, okay guys? Today I'm explaining what you should be doing. So um, make sure you focus on video. If you notice, I'm in my office. I had to stage this, like this is my office every day, you know? Um, invest a little bit into a little bit of video because that's where the future's at right now. Like if you agree, like the more video you do for your plumbing company, the more exposure you get, the more professional it is, and the more, the better the message you can get across too. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, what about a video? You can control their perception. Remember that. So make sure you put your plumbing company in front of their eyeballs so they know who you are. When they need a plumber, they'll call you. Okay, guys? So um, let's get back into my screen sharing here. Let's move on to the next topic here. Uh, here we go. And here we go. So Facebook marketing, okay? Um, next one, number four, retargeting ads. All right, retargeting ads. Now, there's types, different types of retargeting ads. Um, you can retarget on Facebook with a Facebook pixel, right? You can also retarget your website visitors on the Google network. So what does that mean? Well, anybody that visits your website and does not call you, you can show up all over the place online. Um, like I, I have it for mine, right? So if you should, if you were to go to my website, strictlyplumbers.com, and you just take a peek at it, I guarantee you will start seeing these red glasses everywhere. Why? Because I'm gonna put up billboards, digital billboards in front of your face to show you that I, I, I'm here to offer your service. And you, as a plumbing business owner, need to be doing the same thing. If somebody is uh, typing in like sewer camera inspection, you better be offering them some uh, solutions for that. You know, whether it's a repair, replacement, trenchless. There's, and then there's like, um, different types of ads that you can do. You can do dynamic ads where you can show them one after another. So if they saw the first one, then that person will now see the second one. And you can even do the third one. It gets really, you got to get really involved in this stuff. So if you don't have time, hire somebody for your plumbing company um, that is good with marketing so they can help you, you know, in house if you don't have that kind of time. And if you don't have that, even that kind of time, and you just need somebody to do it for you. You know, I'm the plumber that gives a crap about your marketing. Remember that. So you can hire me for this stuff. Um, retargeting ads is a big deal. 
um, you should be retargeting. <clears throat> so check this out. <coughs> Some of you have billboards. These billboards are not cheap. <coughs> Pardon me. These billboards are not cheap and it's one billboard, but you know, it's probably a lot of traffic. Well, that's called shotgun marketing. Okay. One thing about online marketing is you can perform sniper marketing. So instead of showing your ads to everybody, show your ads to, no, instead of showing your ads to just anybody, okay, that is it, that it lives there, make sure you show your digital ads to everybody that needs a plumber now, not just anyone, right? That's gonna make a big difference in your marketing dollars. Are your ads going to just like anyone in your market and anyone that passes by, or are they going to everyone that's looking for a plumber right now? See, that's the difference between shotgun marketing and sniper marketing. And make sure that your retargeting ads are very hyper focused to retarget your website visitors. So as soon as they open up their Facebook, you're showing up right there. And if you can do a video, even better. You'll crush it, okay? Check this out. Number five, SEO and Google Maps. One of my favorite things to talk about, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here, show you this bad boy right here. It's called Plumbing SEO Secrets. So I wrote a book, <laughs> I wrote a book, and uh, in this book, you will actually uh, learn 18 different things that you can do to generate more plumbing leads. And there's some really simple stuff, some really complicated stuff, and a little, a little bit of everything in between. You know, it's 43 pages, so it's not like it's a fat dictionary. This is the bomb. If you're a plumbing business owner and you want to learn about SEO and, you know, Google Maps and 18 different ways to get the phone ringing, you can have a copy for free of my ebook. Okay, um, stick around to the end of the short video and I'm going to tell you how you can get that. Um, it'll also be in your next email coming from me. Um, but check this out, guys. SEO is super important. This is how you get plumbing leads organically. The, you know, you've heard of uh, pay-per-click, which we're going over next. Um, this is not pay-per-click. This is, you know, uh, they, they don't charge you every time you get a click. These are called organic leads, okay? There's, there's local SEO. There's organic SEO. Two different things. On the first page of Google, those are two completely different things. So do you guys know what the Google Maps 3 map pack is? Right, the map pack, the three of them, that's local SEO. Below that is organic SEO. You know, all those other companies that are listed down below that. So that, that's what that is. That's the difference between local SEO and organic SEO. Now, your Google Maps is really gonna make the phone ring a lot if you treat it the right way. So make sure you optimize your Google Maps. Fill in every single blank. Don't let anything be blank. Fill everything in as much as possible, okay? If you need help with this and you have some questions, feel free to reach out to me directly and um, I can answer any of your marketing questions for free, okay? Um, one thing you wanna keep, I'm gonna give you a really good tip for this, okay? It's called NAP, name, address, and phone number. Make sure that on the internet, your name and your address and your phone number are exactly the same thing across the entire internet even down to like the capitalized letters in your company name or whether it says LLC or not or um, Inc, right? Like so-and-so plumbers Inc, that little INC. Th those little things make a big difference on Google, believe it or not. You know, if just what, if, if on Facebook it says, you know, like Tony's Plumbing Inc and then on Google Maps, just Tony's Plumbing, Google's gonna be like, is this the same guy or what's the deal? You know, because there's already so many similar plumbing company names. Don't confuse Google. <laughs> you know, make it easy for Google to read your website, read your online footprint. Make sure you have a strategy in place to make that happen. Name, address, phone number should be the same across the board everywhere. Your Yelp, Facebook, everything. Very important that your NAP is on point, okay? Um, did you guys know you can post on Google Maps, kind of like you post on Facebook? You know, you should be getting reviews every day for your Google Maps as well. Get one a day. Get one a day. 
Um, you know, there's a bunch of review management softwares out there that you can purchase to get, uh, you know, reviews. There's a really easy way to do this with your plumbers. I have a training video for that. If you guys are interested in that, just, you know, get a hold of us through our website and, I, and um, anybody that wants that information, everything I'm talking about right now will be coming to you in an email. Okay, guys? So um, let's get back into my screen share here. Very important that your SEO, make sure that it's done on your website, off your website, on your Google Maps, everywhere possible. If you want to know the 18 things that I do to generate, um, you know, more plumbing leads with Google Maps, then what you want to do is get a hold of my ebook. Okay, I'll give it to you guys for free. All right, so let me just jump in here and bring up my um, slides here. Pay per click on Google, Bing ads, number six. Okay, we're just, we're past halfway through guys. This is very important stuff. If you're a plumbing business owner, this is gold for you. Um, pay per click on Google and Bing ads. So let's talk about that a little bit. You know, there's so many different ways to do it. I consider this to be like a, a skill set similar to uh, soldering. Okay. Soldering, it's not like you, you got it perfect the first time you ever soldered a pipe. As a matter of fact, the more you solder pipes, the, the easier it's going to get. Matter of fact, it, you know, if you're doing repipes <laughs> and you're just soldering all day, you're probably going to be one of the best soldering guys at your shop. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Google Pay Per Click is like that. If you tried it in the past and it didn't work for you, Maybe, maybe it, hey, they didn't do it so good. Or maybe that person didn't do it so good. How much experience did they have? Do they do this for plumbers or do they do this for, you know, uh, you know, dentist and, and, you know, maybe it'll work for you too. That's not how you want to think. You want to get with a plumbing specialist that only deals with, uh, I'm sorry, you want to get with a plumbing specialist that does, that does marketing. Right. Basically a, a marketing agency that, that specializes in plumbing, whether it's me or somebody else, guys, your specialists are your best way to go about uh, your marketing. Okay. Um, Google there, man, there's so many different ways to do it. So check this out. You guys, there's search ads. Okay. There's retargeting ads. You guys could even do ads inside of your Google maps via pay per click. You can actually integrate your Google, my business and your Google ads together and put and force your, your ads inside Google Maps instead of doing it organically. So this is a way to show up on the, more than once on the first page, which is like taking up real estate space, right? If you're listed once on the first page of Google, your chances are you're probably gonna get picked if you're at the top. But what if you're listed twice? What if you're listed more than twice? You know, we still have Google Guarantee, we still have pay-per-click, we still have um, local SEO with the Google Maps, and then we have organic SEO. There is four different ways to get on the first page of Google. Do you guys know why all the humongous plumbing companies are always at the first top, up the top of the page or the first page of Google? I can tell you why. Because that stuff works. Because it makes the phone ring. Because it's profitable. It just needs to be done right. So let's go back to soldering. If somebody, you know, if you were to put two plumbers together and you make them solder a three quarter copper, you know, like two little sticks with a 90 in between, you know, you put the two plumbers next to each other. One guy is going to solder more clean and better than the other guy, you know, than the other plumber, guy or girl, whatever. <clears throat> the plum, well, there's going to be a better plumber that solders better, Right. So it's not always apples to apples, right? Just because somebody hires some plumber over there, is that the same thing as you? Absolutely not. Your, plum, your soldering skills are probably a lot better, right? So kind of same thing for marketing, right? It, you know, every other marketing agency, you know, the ones that kind of target everybody is not the same as um, marketing for plumbers. It's just different. It's not apples to apples. So when you talk to people about pay-per-click, it's not always the same thing. Everybody's got, you know, everybody's got their own strategy, kind of like soldering. You know, some guys overheat the pipe. Some guys uh, spray water. Some guys wipe it down. Some guys put flux to clean it up after you heat it up. 
there's <laughs> there's a science to it right and somehow along the way some guys build their own uh you know ways of doing it right their own skill sets and they're not always the best so you want to make sure that you hire the best so with pay-per-click you can also do it on bing not just google you know you can do it on there too um there is traffic coming in through there it's less traffic than google that's for sure it's not as much as google but picture this why, why have one gun out at war when you can have two guns out at war right so make sure that you cover all bases the more you kill the more you eat right so google pay-per-click is something that is not cheap um if you ever see it out there for a cheap price you better be careful dude because it's kind of like plumbers good plumbers aren't cheap and cheap plumbers aren't good <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say the same thing about tattoos. A good tattoo isn't cheap and a cheap tattoo isn't good. So uh, Google pay-per-click is usually, um, you know, high dollars. You know, if you're in a very competitive area, don't spend less than two, two, three thousand bucks on that. You're, you, you're not, you're going to be pissed off. Um, if you're in a place that's not so competitive, you know, uh, not so competitive, not, not so much population, then you can afford to spend maybe $1,500 a month or so. But if you're in a really populated area and it's super competitive, um, make sure that you get the appropriate budget. If you're going to test, test that with the right budget, accept it, um, and then move forward. You know, But it, Google pay-per-click is something delicate. We, we have meetings with our clients weekly to keep our finger on the pulse to make sure that um, success arrives. Okay. So Google pay-per-click, my advice to you guys is make sure that your keywords are correct. Make sure your negative keywords are correct. So if you don't want to get uh, searched for something in particular, make that a negative keyword so you don't pop up. Uh, make sure that you have the correct budget for your area, okay? And then, of course, the content. Make sure you have the correct content, your call to action. It's very important. What's it going to say in that ad? What's going to differentiate you from the other plumbing companies? So if you guys need advice on this, reach out to me and give you some more free advice, okay? I'm going to move on to um, directory listings and social medias, number seven here. So what's the difference? What's the difference here between the two? Well, a directory listing is going to be something like Google, Yelp, the Better Business Bureau. That's a directory listing. A social media is something like Facebook, Instagram, so on and so forth. And you treat them different, okay? Um, you want to create as many citations as possible and grow your online footprint as big as possible. But don't over-optimize. Don't try to do everything in, over the weekend. <laughs> don't over-optimize yourself. So take your time. We normally like to add about 20 directories per month. You know, and at the end of five or six months, you'll have 100 directories. That's just directories, man. Um, you have the social medias. Make sure you're posting on your social medias every day. You know, and don't just post about your plumbing company. Post about the community, you know. Um, that way you get the attention of your community and you're not bugging them by posting about your plumbing company all the time. Trust me. Reach out to your community. That stuff helps a lot. Um, the difference between the social medias and directory listings is it's not apples to apples. You got to treat them different. And people always ask me, which one should I get on? Get on all of them. <laughs> get on all of them. Why? Because the bigger your online footprint, the more authority your plumbing company has online. Okay. Meaning you're most likely to get picked by Google when somebody is searching for a plumbing company in your area and you want to show up. Google is looking for a certain things. So you want to make sure you give them what they're looking for. Why go any other route? It's important that you know that stuff or whoever's doing your marketing knows that stuff or else you're going to fall behind. Especially right now, Google is making a lot of updates. I mean, they're always making updates, you know, but it never stops. Um, so make sure that your marketer is well aware of everything that's going on for your plumbing company to make sure that um, it makes it happen. You know, it makes it happen the right way. So let me go back and share my screen here. Um, email marketing, okay? And these last three kind of 
you know, connect to each other. And I'll show you why. Email marketing, traditional mail, and the phone outreach is like a three hit combo. This you should be doing as a little package. Send uh, your customers an email, send them traditional mail, and then have your dispatcher call them. This will get you more appointments with your pre-existing clients, I promise, okay? So let's talk about email marketing and what works and what is a cool campaign that you can get the phone to ring within 48 hours. Well, I'm gonna tell you a really cool story about a company out of Riverside, California that I helped them with a um, email campaign and uh, the phone started ringing within 48 days, I'm sorry, 48 hours, and they made about $28,000 within two weeks of just running this campaign. So how do we do that? How do we do that? You know, let me tell you how. First things first is make sure you're collecting everybody's email, putting it inside of a database where you can send them emails on a regular basis. If you're doing, and you're not doing that, you, that's the place to start. So if you wonder what system should you use, there's a whole bunch of them out there. I'm gonna give you some advice. I use Aweber. It's really simple to use. Um, it's just really simple to use and it's not expensive, okay? It's like, I think there's plans that start at about 19 bucks and you can even try it for free, okay? There's a free trial. Anyways, what should this email say? <laughs> how, do we, how do we make all this money on just a simple email? So check this out though. The reason I started off by saying, make sure you're capturing everybody's email address, all of your customers, is so that you can retarget them. Make sure that you have an email that goes out to everybody, okay? Um, like you can do this all at once and offer them this. Here's a cool crafted email for you. Offer them a $50 gift card for anyone that, that recommends your plumbing company and pays for an invoice, okay? So you gotta consider this to be a $50 lead, okay, a $50 lead. Not bad for, not even a lead, a $50 invoice is what it is. You know, you can, if you have a truck operation charge, that could be, you know, and if you don't, uh, you, gotta, you gotta come up with ways to um, bill accordingly, okay? If you're investing more into marketing, you're investing more into your overhead, your location, your prices are probably gonna be a little higher because you're not a small company anymore, right? So charge appropriately. Um, email marketing, that's one thing you can do. Is, hey, in the email, you wanna basically say, if you recommend my plumbing company to your friend or family and they pay for an invoice, we will mail you a $50 gift card. We did this to a list of about 5,000 people these were homeowners um, in that area. So out of the 5,000 people, there's only gonna be so many, a percentage, only so many will actually open the email and then so many will actually click on it and then so many will actually call you and, and schedule something, right? So if you have a list of 1,000 homeowners, maybe it's not so big, do it anyways. You don't have to wait to get to 5,000. If you have a list of 500, it doesn't matter. Send out emails all the time, okay? Especially right now during the COVID-19 pandemic, remind these people that you're open. You know, it's super important that you are in front of your prospects or your customers' eyes in every direction possible, whether it's online, um, in the streets as they see your vans being wrapped, on the radio as they're whistling to your song or the billboard that they see up top or online when they're just searching the internet and you got retargeting ads. Make sure your company dominates um, from different angles. It's called multi-channel marketing, okay? So email marketing is, is one of them and you know, it's one of the channels that you can do. It's super inexpensive, guys. I'm talking about, you know, um, there's plans out there for like 19 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, to perform email marketing. The way it works is the more subscribers you have, the more that company is gonna charge you. I use aweber.com, okay? You can try it for free, okay guys? The next one I'm gonna talk about is traditional mail. Now the reason I said traditional mail versus postcards is because, let's keep it real, postcards get flung, traditional mail gets opened. Let me say that one more time. Postcards get flung into the trash, sometimes not even read, 
and traditional mail gets open. So write a letter, you know, not by hand, of course, you know, type up a letter and have some good sales copy in there, have a call to action. Basically almost the same thing as your email marketing. Okay. The same message. They will open up this piece of mail. And if they throw it away after that, that's okay. At least you know they got the memo because people are not going to throw away important looking mail. But have you ever seen an important looking postcard? The only one I've ever seen is probably from Google. Every other postcard is, it gets flung with all my junk mail whenever I go check the mail in the mailbox. I think you guys can relate to that. So in your traditional mail, what should you be writing? Again, write what you put in your email. Okay, and send traditional mail in an envelope versus a postcard. That's my tip for you guys, which leads me to number 10, the last one here, phone outreach. The reason you want to um, have a phone outreach is they got your email. They got your traditional mail. Now somebody needs to call them and close the loop. You'd be shocked at how many um, you know, water heater flushes you can get. Uh, maintenance for drain cleaning, whether it's residential or commercial. There's a lot of commercial accounts out there, guys. This will help you um, build relationships and get more of those commercial accounts for preventative maintenance. It's a big deal. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something really cool today. Um, let me scroll down here. You already know who I am, what I've done. You know, um, we work with over two, uh, at this point, about 230 plumbing business owners in the United States. Uh, it's grown. Uh, quite a bit, you know, and if you need more plumbing leads, we can help you. But again, if you're watching this training video, um, you should also have an email. And this is how you get all of these free bonuses. See how this is clickable? I'm going to send you the link of what I'm sharing with you here. Just click on this and it'll redirect you to the so you can download this bad boy. Okay. Remember, get my free ebook, learn 18 ways to get more plumbing leads. All right very very important this is on seo um we have three different three different prices on our websites because we work with three different types of plumbers so we work with the big companies the medium companies and the small companies so if you needed to hire somebody and an expert for google maps to get you more leads i can do that for you and give you one month for free okay just reach out to me i'm also going to give you guys for free right now a facebook marketing for plumbers this is a killer video where I, again, build Facebook ads, you know, bit by bit. And you can see, I peel, I mean, you can see how I build Facebook ads. You could also hire us for Facebook marketing if you don't want to do it yourself. And right now we're giving away two months of free Facebook marketing. Okay. So you, um, this is really important stuff. If you want some Facebook pictures, you can have these for absolutely free. Post them. You can take off my logo, put your logo. You know, and um, for anybody watching this again, uh, you can get this uh, sales training for plumbers. Uh, some, you know, this this is um, this will teach your plumbers how to turn a small job into a bigger job without taking advantage of the customer, uh, ethically doing sales and big sales. I'm talking about how to make uh, fifty thousand dollars a month as a plumber and how to make a hundred thousand dollars a month as a salesman. And then how you make those two guys work together, how to sell financing. And then I also teach how a plumber can make $100,000 a year working at your plumbing company by ethical sales. This is something that I've also been uh, hired for at the PHCC of San Diego. Um, in person, I have provided sales training for the plumbers because the PHCC has watched me grow up from 19 years old to 37. Um, when I was an apprentice. So another thing I'm gonna give you, um, which I learned when I was in the plumbing industry is dispatch training for plumbers. You know, um, being one of the managers there at Rescue Reader, I constantly had to deal with the, with the um, uh, dispatchers and how to send the right tech to the right call, how to, how to close every, you know, the majority of the leads that come in so they don't escape out of your hand like a fish that's wiggling his way out of your hand. How to supercharge your dispatcher so you schedule more calls. And here's a, a video and a script. This is all free, guys. Seriously, even a t-shirt, which is the same t-shirt I'm wearing right now, okay? Um, you don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is click on this and fill out your information and I'll give it to you. The reason I'm giving away these t-shirts for free is because 
Um, this is brought to you by the PHCC, and uh, we have been supporting each other. Strictly Plumbers and PHCC has been supporting each other, and this is our way of giving back to our own community, okay? Again, if you guys need more plumbing leads, um, we can help you, all right? Um, that's it. I'm done here. I hope you guys learned something great. Um, Echo, um, do you want to finish it off by saying anything? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you guys as well for getting on this. Uh, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. There's, I learned a lot that I didn't know. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm just looking forward to many more of these. I know you have a lot. Um, and I can't wait to push them out to the members. It's going to be very, very helpful for them. Um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's really cool to hear, Echo. I, I really appreciate that. I have a couple more questions. Um, okay. what, what was your favorite thing of this webinar? What, what, what was your aha moment? Um, well, I would say truly it was explaining how this stuff works. Um, I've seen SEO and, and whatnot, you know, on these saying that we're supposed to be doing this. I really didn't understand it at all. I thought that was way beyond me. So I appreciate how you explain it. That is very helpful. Cool. So kind of like And I know that I'm sure these categories, especially marketing and whatnot for plumbers, is where they need a lot of help in. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Echo, um, I don't have any questions and any more, any other questions. So that should wrap up our meeting here. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity to serve my plumbers. Um, I'm the plumber that gives a shit about your marketing. <laughs> Hey, do you need more plumbing leads? Do you want to know about a blueprint that will help you get more plumbing leads so you can make more money and keep your plumbers busy and stay open for business? But not just that, grow your plumbing company. Click on the link below so that you can get our blueprint and understand the eight most important things you need to do for your plumbing company so that you can get the phone ringing with customers on a regular basis without overspending on marketing. This is free education only for plumbing business owners. If you need this blueprint and you want uh, uh, something that you need to follow, click on the link below and get your information for free now.